The ARC black market is the number one reason ARC attracts the insane amount of cheaters that it does. Let's talk about it. The ARC black market is basically an underground economy that players can exchange in-game items for real money. Yep, you heard me right. I'm talking about that cold hard cash, that moolah, them Benjamins. You can literally even pay these sweat lords money to beat the boss fights for you or get your character to max level. I've literally seen bases that were sold for thousands of dollars. One more time for the people in the back. Thousands of dollars for a base in a video game. You might be wondering the same thing I did at first. Who the hell would pay that kind of real money for some in-game items? Well, I hate to point out the obvious, but have you ever bought a battle pass? My dumbass has. What about some skins for your guns or for your character? Well, it's not so different from that other than the fact that this completely ruins the game for everyone that isn't cheating. Honestly, it makes more sense to buy from the ARC black market. At least the stuff you're getting from there has a resale value unlike skins in a battle pass. Which brings me to my next point, money. Any game that has any sort of player trading, auction houses, trading posts, being able to drop loot to another player, etc. will have a massive number of hackers and cheaters. All because of one thing, real life moolah. This includes games like Ark, OSRS, which is old school RuneScape, World of Warcraft, New World, Escape from Tarkov, and many more. We saw this happen recently with the Cycle Frontier game that was released. So I did some digging into this to see if I could find exactly how much these sellers were making. And what I found was pretty mind blowing. I clicked on server, I'm gonna pick PVP new, platform, PC, and then item type, I'm gonna just go to dinos and then sort by recommended. So right here, you can see they got people on this website selling bread trikes, bread velanosaurs, shadow mains, blood stalkers, dianicas, gigas, argies. But look, I'm gonna click on this seller's profile. This guy has made 16,911 orders. And I saw this badge and it says seller ranking legendary seller. And I was curious on to what that meant. So. I did a little research and I found this seller ranking sellers will be upgraded, downgraded or remain at the same ranking based on the monthly sales target they achieve. Seller who meets the requirement will get ranking promotion in the following month. Total sales are calculated at the end of each month to determine the seller's current standings. Sellers will not be downgraded even if they are unable to reach the sales target requirement on the second month. However, sellers who fail to maintain their sales target for two months continuously will be downgraded. So in other words, in order to keep their seller ranking, they have to consistently be able to sell the amount that it takes to get that seller ranking in order to keep the badge. But look at this. Legendary seller ranking makes more than 50,000 USD monthly. Epic is more than 20,000 monthly. Rare is more than 10,000 monthly. Uncommon is 5,000. Common is 1,000. This seller that is selling these bread dinos is legendary seller ranking. That means this guy is making over 50 grand a month selling in-game items. Now, being that he has a Wrath of the Lich King banner behind his profile, I'm sure that he's selling other in-game items besides just art. But let me see if I can find one that is only art. Yeah, so this guy is definitely specifically art. His description is, we sell all kinds of art dinos and structures at incredibly low price. PM me to buy bulk for discount. And he has an uncommon seller rank. He's made 1,245 orders. Uncommon seller ranking is more than 5,000 USD monthly selling in-game ARC items. These guys are literally making a living selling in-game ARC items. This guy looks like he has a Barry Onyx as his profile picture. He also has the uncommon seller ranking and has made 289 orders. The idea of being able to sell in-game items and make a living off of it seems cool at first until you realize that the people that are selling these dinos are the same people that are aimbotting and cheating and completely ruining the game. 
they're making so much money from it that it doesn't even matter if they get banned especially being that arc made the game free twice and allowed all these cheaters to just have as many counts as they want so if you're wanting to play official pvp at this point i can guarantee you a good 50 percent of the interactions you find with other players are gonna be other players using aimbot or some type of hack and for the people that are buying these dinos from these people you might be able to get these breed lines for a few days or whatever but the people that end up raiding you are most likely one of the people that sold you those dinos they just raid you take the stuff that they just sold you right back and then are able to resell it again on these websites they're basically printing money please do not buy shit from these people there's definitely no hope for official pvp servers in arc and that's super unfortunate because i really love playing the pvp side of the game i know that you could play on dedicated servers and all that but i really i really enjoyed playing official until all there was left was cheaters it just makes the game not fun vindactor actually did a video on this topic recently so if you haven't seen that video you should definitely check that out but he mentioned that the servers haven't been wiped in five years and they won't ever be wiped or at least until arc 2 comes out there's multiple ways to fix this problem with people wanting to sell dinos and stuff wiping the maps i know people want to keep their stuff for a long period of time but wiping the maps is one of the best solutions to solve this problem people wouldn't be buying and selling as many items or at least paying as much for them if the servers wiped because if if people knew that they were only going to have those dinos or items for a limited amount of time then they wouldn't spend as much money on them now this part is definitely just my opinion and there's a big chance that it is not true but i've always thought about this and then I saw somebody mention it in one of Vindactor's comments on his videos. But I want to ask y'all a question before I mention what the comment was about. Give me a valid reason on to why Wildcard won't wipe the servers. Why won't they wipe the official servers? If you ask any ARC PVPer that plays the game a decent amount, they will tell you that the only people left on official servers are cheaters and the people selling these dinos and items and bases and everything else. So tell me why Wildcard is trying to protect the 0.5% of the player base that has these bases on the official servers whenever the majority of the community wants the servers to be wiped. Why are they protecting the 0.5% of the player base? That's full of cheaters because I haven't been able to come up with a valid answer yet. But look at what this comment says. Like I said, this is just an opinion. I'm not saying that they're actually doing this, but I've always had this thought in the back of my mind. And then I read this comment. This dude says it goes it goes deeper. I played on official on PC and I was a part of a mega tribe that had game devs that were in the tribe on alt accounts. When Aberration first came out, we were bugging out rock drakes into the map and having the devs spawn us in new rock drakes that had impossible stats for official and they were selling them off for real world trade. And then this guy replied to his comment and said, that confirms one of my oldest suspicions. Black markets are dev side hustles. I honestly don't think it would be that big of a deal to me if people were selling in-game items that they got the right way without cheating but I couldn't say for sure without seeing how that would play out. So I would say it's better off just not having any of it. The reason I made this video is to do everything in my power to bring more attention to this problem. Almost every single multiplayer game I enjoy playing has the same exact problem. And it's to the point that these games are basically unplayable. Now, of course, I'm talking about official servers specifically. I'm not really referring to single player or dedicated servers, obviously. I thought cheating was bad before in ARC, but then Wildcard decided to make the game free for a week on Steam. I don't know if y'all realize how big of a deal that was, but it was a huge mistake by Wildcard. And personally, I don't even know if it was a mistake. Something tells me that, you know, maybe since ARC 2's coming out, that it would be a good idea to make ARC free for a week. That way the cheaters can load up on multiple accounts and then ruin the official network on ARC 1 so everybody has to go to the new game to avoid the cheaters. That's just my opinion, but who knows? 
But yeah, Ark being free on Steam for the few days that it was pretty much gave up the small amount of integrity that the game had left. When they made the game free on Steam for a week, it made it a thousand times easier for cheaters to cheat without the worry of being banned. Not that they had to worry much before because Wildcard doesn't give a shit about the PvP side of the game and have probably only banned less than 1% of them, but this just opened the floodgates. Let me explain. Making the game free allowed anyone that wanted multiple copies of the game able to get as many copies of it as they wanted. In order to own another copy of Ark, all anyone had to do was create a second Steam account with a different email address, go to the Steam store, and claim another free copy of Ark. This process could be repeated as many times as they wanted while it was free. Now, when the slightly less brain dead cheaters get banned, they just hop on another one of their hundred Steam accounts that they created to get free copies of ARK and start playing the game again. See the problem? Now that the cheaters have hundreds of different accounts that they can cheat on, they don't even have to risk their main account anymore. They can just cheat on all the free accounts that they got and their main account is at no risk of being banned. They cheat and aimbot on one account, give all the items that they got from aimbotting to their main account and never have to worry about their main account being banned. And if one of their side accounts get banned, they still have 99 more to aimbot and cheat with. There's no getting rid of the cheaters now. Arc official servers are completely done ruined. If you've been thinking about getting your own ARC server to play on with friends or to start your own PVP server, use the link in the pinned comment or in the video description. Matrado offers some really good servers that allows you to change all the settings, add mods, pretty much do whatever you want to it. MTS, which is one of the most popular unofficial PVP servers, they also use Natrato servers. I am partnered with Natrato and I do make a commission, but it doesn't cost you any extra and it helps support the channel. So if you want to get your own ARC server, Use the link in the description or in the pinned comment. I did a video recently on things that could ruin ARC 2. So if you want to check that one out, I'll leave a link on the screen. With that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.